Okay, good afternoon, everybody. That's really loud. Uh, my name's Kerry, um, and I'm from ACG Education, uh, which has now changed its name, but you don't really need to know about that at the moment. And I'm going to be here to talk to you about um, studying in New Zealand, um, as well as some of the courses, both for Pathway Foundation that we have into the Australia, uh, New Zealand universities, um, and the vocational courses we have, and what kind of post-study work rights come with those as well. Um, if anybody, if my English is a bit too fast, um, then at the end of the session, please feel free to come to us. Um, we've got a lovely lady here called Helen, um, and she will be able to speak to you in Burmese. So first of all, um, for anybody who doesn't know where New Zealand is, we're right at the end, <laughs> over here. Uh, it's actually not too far from Asia. I think people from uh, Europe and, and America think it's a long way. New Zealand is split into two islands um, called the North Island and the South Island. Um, and we actually have campuses all over, uh, but mostly we're in Auckland and the capital, Wellington, as well. Um, we also have other cities um, that some people never heard of. Hamilton, we have a management course here in Hamilton, uh, Tauranga and Christchurch, which some of you may have heard about recently, unfortunately. Um, for those of you who wonder, what's it like when you're there? Is it really, really cold? Um, actually, the North Island is pretty temperate, so um, kind of 15 to 25 degrees is, is really the, the change that you get. You can get hot summers, um, and you might get a bit of a cold winter, but it's nothing too extreme. The South Island, um, summers are pretty much the same, uh, but the winters can get a bit colder, and of course you've got the mountains down there, which makes it very cold and very snowy, as you can see on the right there. It does have beautiful scenery, um, so it's not just about the cities. The South Island in particular has um, a range of, um, they call it the... Um, fjords, the, um, so it's very similar to the northern fjords, um, and they have a range of mountains with Mount Cook, and, and this is why people from New Zealand are very outdoorsy, because it's just so beautiful to go out cycling, go out running, go out on the, on the water, um, all kinds of different things that you can get up to. Um, and then there are other weird and wonderful things that you can't see anywhere else in the world. Um, so tourism is our second biggest economy behind agriculture um, and so it's a really wonderful city, uh, country to go and explore um, with not just the mountains but kind of it is based on a, on a fault so you, you do get earthquakes but along with that you get this beautiful lava scenery and that kind of thing and when I say earthquakes I mean little ones. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but um, the company that does a lot of the work on some of the big international animated films um, is actually based in Wellington, in New Zealand, um, which is where our UB College of Design is as well. That's not a coincidence. Um, so that company have worked on the Avengers, on King Kong, currently working on Avatar 2, 3 and 4. In New Zealand, you can work whilst you're studying. Um, so you can work 20 hours per week. This has actually gone up now to 17.25, um, which means that I think you can earn around one and a half million in, in, in what's, the, what's it called? Jet. Yes, thank you. Per month, uh, which is really generous compared to a lot of other countries. Um, this is a big question that we get asked. Um, it's fairly new from last year. Um, so post-study work uh, visa rights. Normally, if you're working, if you study for two years at uh, level five or six, which is below bachelor, in Auckland, you get one year. Outside of Auckland, two years. If you study a bachelor level or above, you get three years post-study work visa. Now, the only country that comes close to that is Canada, um, and that's not for all programs. So it's a very, very generous three years post-study work visa. So going on to uh, ACG, uh, we offer three foundations, one for the University of Auckland, one for AUT, which is also in Auckland, um, and one for Victoria Wellington. 
Um, we've been working now with Auckland for 20 years, 20 years this year actually, it's our 20th year anniversary. Um, so very strong um, in these pathways. Um, don't need IELTS, they can do the, the internal test. And we have four intakes per year. So the universities normally have two intakes, we have four. So very briefly on the University of Auckland, um, it's number 82 in the world. It's a very highly ranked university. Um, for 18 of its subjects, they're top 50 in the world. Um, and it gets, you know, QS stars, um, does very well in the Times higher. A number of, of ranking um, kind of institutes will, will put Auckland very high. Our foundation, we have three. So the Fast Track, which is three terms. Uh, we only have two intakes of this one. $28,000. And basically, they need to have finished high school. Um, so a lot of students I've spoken to have done their IGCSE. Um, and then they would be able to go in. Each of these, it gets longer. And it's based on the level of English. And more expensive, as you can see. AUT, which is just around the corner um, from the University of Auckland, uh, is more of a, a technical science university. Um, it's the second largest in New Zealand um, and is very successful in collaborating with business and other universities and colleges as well. It's very much a hands-on kind of university and a link to industry, so very good at getting students jobs. Um, and generally it's ranked in the kind of top 500, but then some of its courses um, are ranked in the top 50 or the top 100 as well. So still a very, very good university. We have four intakes uh, with AUT. Um, the one that interests most is the fast track because it's only two terms, which is only six months. Um, and we have a scholarship at the moment, which means this is only $15,000. Um, so that makes it the, the, the best price in New Zealand at the moment. Although that does require an IELTS of six. Um, or IGCSE pass of two. And then the next one is three terms um, at 20,500. 20, Wellington, um, not in Auckland, as you might guess, um, is in the capital Wellington. I personally love Wellington. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's obviously the capital city, so they are very, very strong on international relations, on politics, um, those kinds of areas. Also Triple Crown Business School, which means it's been accredited by three major um, accrediting bodies um, and does really well in certain subjects. Um, another one it's not on there, which we just got actually five stars for, is Architecture. Um, so another really strong course with Victoria as well. Um, I won't go into this too much detail because it's the same as the last one. This also has a 3,000 scholarship, which makes it uh, $15,000. We also have um, three, I'm not sure what's happened to that. Oh, okay. Three um, colleges. We used to have about 15, they've now been merged into three. We have NZMA, um, which is very much about uh, management and hospitality. We have the New Zealand School of Tourism. So remember, tourism is number two um, economically for New Zealand, so a really important course. And then we have the UB Colleges, which is design, animation, film, IT, um, as well as some short and online courses as well. So very quickly, NZMA, Pharmacy Technician, um, is a two-year course that basically leads you into a profession. Uh, we already have one student um, who's now got a job, I believe. Yeah. So very 100% success, success rate so far. Um, hospitality, uh, we have a lot of links with some major international hotels as well as New Zealand and Australia based hotels as well. Uh, cookery, very strong with our NSIA college. And then management, we have a level seven management which is just at the level of uh, bachelor. And then a one year postgraduate level eight management program which is about to be approved. Um, and that comes with three years post-study work. So for those students who already have a bachelor in business, who want to get three years post-study work, they just need to do one year. Oh yes, sorry, I wanted to point this out. 
all of these courses come with 600 hours paid internship. So that's um, at the end of their second year. So not only are they getting paid, which helps towards their living costs as well, um, but they are networking, understanding what it's like to actually work in a real workplace um, and getting to meet other people and, and possibly getting jobs um, at the end using their post-study work as well, which a lot of the students do. We also have Pathways. Um, this is an example of the ho Applied Hospitality Management, which is two years. Um, if they study in Wellington or Hamilton, they can then get two years post-study work and then they can finish off at AUT for one and a half years and they can get their bachelor as well. Um, so some students will use this to get the funds to then go on to this and then they get another three years at the end. That pathway costs a lot less than going to AUT directly, strangely enough. Um, so this is the total cost for going to university and this is the cost for doing the pathway through the uh, applied hospitality management course. New Zealand School of Tourism, a um, number of different kinds of programs. Um, I'd say the one that most people are interested in is um, hotel and tourism management. Um, we were, are about to have a degree in this and with a level seven. Um, but some students also interested in the international flight attendees program. No post-study work, but it gives them the experience of working um, on, a, on a pretend, there it is, um, plane. It's actually a real plane. It was shipped in from Canada, of all places. Um, and so they, they do all of their practice on there. And a lot of those students will go, uh, then end up and go and get jobs um, in different kinds of airlines. And they've included Bangkok Air and Singapore Air as well. So finally, UB. Um, I've had a lot of students come and talk to me about IT. Um, and we have a school of IT as well as our design and animation courses. Um, you can see here um, that we have lots of different pathways um, that can end up in a Bachelor of Animation. Again, they'll get a three years post-study work. Or they could do a six and a seven for two years and then get two years post-study work as well. So lots of different options um, for students looking for that kind of course. Um, so not only the... the uh, the design courses, but the, we also do kind of the web and UX, the phone design as well, web app development. We do a bachelor in creative software, um, which means that they will design different softwares, they'll design different phone uh, apps, and that's uh, very popular at the moment. Oh. And the other one that's not on there, I must have forgot to put it in, is cloud technology, a level seven in cloud technology. Cloud technology is about to go boom, um, especially with mobile gaming. So gaming now will be all coming from the cloud. You won't have a disk, you won't have a machine, it's all on the cloud. And they will need more and more people to do the cloud technology behind that. So the jobs will be so easy to get. And that's a one year level seven in cloud technology. They get all of the Microsoft certificates they need to then go on and work in that industry. And it's on the short term skills list. Um, so they will very easily then get a visa, um, but Helen's much better <laughs> at visas than me. So in summary, um, New Zealand is ace, really. It's a beautiful, clean, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Friendly, very friendly place to go and study. Um, so you can study with your mind at ease, you know, that this is just very, it's a very studying place because you're not, you're not going to be at nightclubs till three o'clock in the morning. Um, you're not going to be worrying about your safety. You're not going to be worrying about whether you've got any money left because it's, it's not an overly expensive country either. Um, so it's, yeah, really beautiful, good country, good courses and a good opportunity to get work and maybe stay on in New Zealand as well. Okay, well, thank you all for your time. I think I've stayed on my uh, allotted time. Helen, I don't know if you wanted to quickly say anything. Yeah? Lovely. Ming Lawa, Tamana Mera Helen Ma, Tamangano New Zealand Licensed Immigration Advisor Bashet, 
So that's why New Zealand and Yamaga visa never that their solution. A two different student visa, web visitor visa, work visa, or resident visa in it. A ten year page and a web service page and a web page, low channel so in license low barish. Tamagaro, New Zealand Immigration Advisor Authority, Nima, the Yawin Pete had a license at Lolo Nidaba. So Tamani Negaro, Kutema, New Zealand, and to a solution, Tamati Alpe Shiba did it. Tamakulo Zema, and the pure and Nine, Tama Lolo Nivare, Tamaro are number thirty seven, my Shiba Resh. So Kuna to Piotoare courses the Tetane Soye, now Kuna Atika or Chompi opportunity devo. Lure Alonga, uh, Chompa BB solution, a low yard in Zaresh. So a low low port to a day, Parilo at day, not to Kua. Hope I'm Amita Zureshi as Oyen, Blumio join Long Nine Sure, Pathway, Along Utma, Ateza, Shemja Naimare, Tamaro Niama, Betma, Yaningana, IT, Shiba Mesh, Pomangara, Tama Yung Niara, Melina, Janguma, Shibare, Tametma, who went to Tani, Retrotam, Lutamane, direct written as Oyen, appointment, Lilu Barish, so that Tita Ateza, Tisha, and Oyen, Tamaro, and Niago, Lapi, Sansa Naimare, Atika Gado, New Zealand, Tome, so Yen, Tamaro, New Zealand, Nanganga, Emetama, Taya, Labare, Nangam, Tete, Long Jong, Sichare, Tangari, and Negale, Ashan, Utatare. A two to ye diaga, don't be a queen eva. So New Zealand Nanga, Bachelor Boy Yare Lutai, Alone Go, a low yam yaya work permit, don't ne pay. So Kuyare alone, Kuyare qualification at Kanye resolution, resident visa, shall yare. Now to Kua New Zealand Nanga, permanent resident visa, expert date, low one machine. So I queen it along with the tennis on it, tomorrow she will let Ida Lila Naimare, along with Tizu Tamarish. Thank you.